Hey there, everybody. Uh, this is Kelly Schaefer of TaskComplete.com and the creator of the Concierge Academy. And I know it's a little loud here behind me, and I apologize in advance. Uh, but as you all know, I have been trying to get out uh, our 12 helpful holiday habits to you. And uh, time is running out. And now we have like dance lights behind me. This ought to be fun. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm all judged and, and uh, bowed up here this evening. Uh, we just wrapped up, literally wrapped up. Oh, I'm, I'm punning all over the place right now. Uh, we just wrapped up our first uh, of four days of corporate gift wrapping at one of our local companies. Uh, we wrapped a lot of gifts today. I'm not going to tell you the number yet because uh, next week we will come back and give you the grand total. Um, but anyway, the reason why you're here with me today is for your helpful holiday habit. And I believe we're on day eight, if I, I can remember, in this hair. I don't know what's happening here. Maybe we can do that. It's a little bit better. <laughs> but anyway, so my tip for you today is um, actually the least busiest days to do your shopping are Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And I probably should have told you that last week. Uh, so I'm coming in though and I'm letting you know that tomorrow will likely be the least busiest of the upcoming days before the holiday. So if you at all can get out tomorrow, I highly recommend uh, putting the time in this evening if at all possible and make that last long list. Um, and remember, break it down by store so that you don't have to go back a second time like when I, I explained in the other video. Uh, one of the other tips I have for you is once you map out all the stores and locations that you need to go to, number them on your list and actually go to the stores in a, and it's going to look backwards on this on, on the live because everything looks backwards, but you want to go in a counterclockwise motion because what it does is it actually gives you a starting point and then go this way, stop at this store, stop at this store, stop at this store, stop at this store, come back home. The reason why you want to go in a counterclockwise fashion is because it actually prevents you from having to make uh, left-hand turns. And a lot of times um, when you're rock, you know, going around the mall and different uh, stores and so forth, especially this time of year when you're in the crazy, crazy, hectic traffic, you don't want to have to make a left-hand turn. You want to just keep making right-hand turns, right-hand turns. So that's actually the science uh, and probably some kind of engineering information behind why when you map out your stores, you want to go in a counterclockwise motion. So hopefully that tip will help you today. I'm going to do my best to pop in again tomorrow. Uh, we will be wrapping all day uh, for the next three days. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to pop in during the day. Uh, thank you for being here with me. And uh, I hope your holidays are going to be merry and bright. Uh, we have very, very limited availability left. I think we only have a little bit of time Thursday morning at this point. But if you still need some help and you're in our local area, we would love to help you out. Um, and I'm going to go now as these uh, lights spaz out some more. All right, bye everyone. Mwah.